Hi guys, classmates, gals. This is my special occasion speech, and here's my audience. All right, this is a made of honor speech, so here we go. <clears throat> Good evening, everyone. My name is Amanda, for those of you who don't know me. I'm a friend of Laura's, and we actually met a few years ago at CVU, and I'm excited and honored to be standing in front of you all today just to talk about these two lovebirds and how they've been a blessing in my life. So, Laura, you are like a sister to me, and I absolutely love how in all that you do you glorify the Lord in your music, in your life, and in your relationships with other people. And I'm glad to be standing here in front of you and Stephen today just to truly let you guys know that I love you guys and again you guys have been a huge blessing so I remember the day that Laura met you Stephen she went to an event at her church and you were a guest there and I remember how awestruck and how love struck she was when she came back to my room she said hey I met this guy who's really great at guitar and he's amazing he's an amazing singer and he's just an amazing guy amazing man of God and I really didn't think that she would see you again just because you were a guest but you're here today now on your wedding day and I'm excited for the both of you but I remember how every single time we would go out whether it be to the store or to the campus dining areas she would always dress herself up do her makeup do her hair um, and put on the nicest clothes she has she never went out in public wearing just sweats and a t-shirt she always wanted to look her best and this was her excuse to me every time I got irritated that she would take forever she would say Amanda you never know I might meet my husband and surely she ended up meeting you when she went to that event but again, I just really remember how awestruck and how in love she was when she came back. And Stephen, I remember when I met you. I remember how awkward it was when you came on campus and met a few of our girlfriends. But I'm not going to go into telling that story because I don't want to embarrass you. <laughs> but I'm glad that you two are here today and I'm glad you are embarking on this new journey in your lives together. And you guys have really made the commitment to grow in the Lord together and as one. Stephen, I love the way you treat Laura. I love that you are an amazing leader and you're an incredible man of God and I truly believe that you will lead Laura all the days of your lives and that you would truly put God in the center of your relationships. And Laura, I just really want to encourage you to continue to grow in the Lord and to continue to give him the glory and honor and praise. And as I close my speech, I just really wanted to encourage the both of you to continue to look to Christ and to always be in his word and to always pray to him, even in the times when things aren't going well. And Stephen, I just want to let you know, during the times of, of when Laura is not cooperating and when she can be really irritating, just remember that Christ is your foundation and that you both should truly go into him and go into prayer together. And without further ado, I just want to congratulate you two and let you guys know how amazing of a blessing it is an honor to be standing in front of you today on your special day. The lights. <laughs> remember the vows you made today and remember to love one another as Christ has loved you. May you both continue to use your music and hearts for the Lord. And may you both continue to grow harmoniously with each other and with the Lord. I pray that the Lord would bless you all the days of your lives and that your future together will be as bright as the smiles on your faces today. Thank you.